All right, welcome back to another day here on the bus build. Uh, someone, my dad, actually came up north this weekend. He wanted to help me out on the build. So I know in the last video we were talking about finishing up these upper cabinets here and the desk area, but I'm actually gonna push that to another day because since my dad's here, we wanna actually build out the couch uh, bed that's gonna be going right here. So what's gonna be happening is there's gonna be a couch bed going here. It's gonna pull out to the center and that's where my bed is gonna go. And that's what we're gonna be working on today, trying to figure it out and see what we come up with. We're actually walking over to my other bus, Navi. Uh, if you don't know Navi, that was the bus that I lived in for like four years before I started building out Ivan. Um, we're gonna go look at the couches in that one just to give you a little bit of an explanation of what I did previously and uh, what I wanna do now. But I'm gonna put up a drawing from the 3D rendering video so you guys can get an idea of what that bus is gonna end up looking like and what we're trying to go for here. But let's take a look at Navi and uh, see what the measurements look like because we gotta take them anyway. After all winter, she still starts. Just like that. <laughs> Good old reliable Navi. You know, batteries don't die, the engine just kicks over. This bus, this bus will never die. I don't ever want it to. Okay, so we just got all of our measurements for this couch here. And the reason why I'm designing the one in Ivan after the one that I did here in Navi is because I really liked these couches. They worked for four years. There's a couple things that I would do differently. And I just want to point them out because they were things that annoyed me. And if it had, you know, bothered me for four years, I figure someone else out there might uh, also want to not make the same mistakes. Uh, one thing that I did when I built this couch was I built it to the perfect measurements when it was just wood. So no cushions, no nothing, just wood. So if I sit on this, it feels perfect. And it's like, yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice couch. Problem is I didn't account for the cushions when I was building these like five years ago. So the issue is, is that when I put the cushions on, I now lose three inches here, which then just pushes my legs out farther and now it's just kind of a really short couch. Not that it's not like great and comfortable that I could use it. It's just, I would have probably wanted to add two more inches here and account for the depth of the cushions so that when it was finally done with the cushions on it, it would feel a lot more natural. The other thing that uh, I didn't do, which I probably will still do in the future, uh, maybe in a future little build series we might do, is uh, I didn't put pistons on these. They're just on a piano hinge and it just lifts up. You can do that. It's great. Uh, I just probably would at this point say that gas pistons would have been great to really just help with lifting them and holding them open because for four years um, I had to remove the cushions lift this up hold it grab what's in the box and then close it without slamming my fingers which wasn't exactly too much fun when there was a bunch of people living with me on the bus um, so gas pistons would have been something I would do uh, and then lastly the reason why in Ivan we're doing a what I like to call a zipper couch a pull-out couch uh, I'm not too sure what the official name for them are, but this couch, what I did was actually a fold out. So it's two pieces of plywood, it folds out. Um, I have supports that actually go down here to hold this. So this then becomes a bed. Um, every time I wanted to set this up, I'd have to remove the cushions, then flip this out. And then once it's open, there'd be no way for me to get inside the couch. Uh, so if I left something in here, like a pillow or blankets, I then would have to close this whole thing and then open this back up to get inside. I think I could have done something better so that when I was living on the road, it would have been a little bit more like, user friendly. And um, you know, sometimes you just don't know until you start using it. But we're gonna be kind of taking these measurements, taking these designs, transferring it over to the one that we're gonna build over in uh, Ivan. And you know, thanks Navi for a couple good years. And we're gonna take the design and we're gonna try to improve on it. If you haven't seen Navi in a full tour, uh, there are quite a few videos up on YouTube, so I will link one down in the description if you want to see a full tour of that bus. Also, uh, the reason why I le left that bus and I'm building a new one, um, I did a four-year video of kind of the travels that I went through, the places I've been, the people that I've met, and I'll link that one down below as well if you want to check that out and kind of see what I've been up to before Ivan.
All right, well, I got some of these back pieces in that were cut quite a long time ago, uh, so I just finished putting them in. We are gonna have to finish out some of these casings to finish out the couch, but uh, my dad was drawing a bunch of stuff up while I was finishing up those pieces, and I think we finally got all of our measurements figured out. So what we're gonna be doing is building a backrest just like you saw on Navi. It's gonna be about 36 inches high for the backrest all the way down to the floor. Sorry. And then the actual seat is gonna be about 19 inches off of the ground. And then it's gonna come out about 24 and a half, which will bring us to about right here before the door. And then the pullout will be about 22 inches and it will pull out to almost meet up with right here. So that when we're all done, you have a bed that goes wall to office. And when you pull it in, you have a nice comfortable couch that we adjusted for those measurements that we talked about in uh, Navi that wasn't correct. You got something to say? No, I think it's gonna work out okay. Oh, okay, you had your hand up. Oh, well, when you, when you try to slide out, the bed, it's optimum to be in the center so you don't have any friction and racking. The center is actually inside the office. So you're gonna have a very difficult time pulling in and, and not racking this. So what we're going to do for two reasons, one being that, the other being that if you pull the whole bed out to work in your office, you limit your ability to get into the bathroom. So if we cut it in half, then you can just slide it out for the office, which is a much smaller area, and you won't get as much friction, and then you can pull out the second portion when you actually want to go to bed. And then this way, when you're working during the day, your guests or whoever may be with you, even yourself, can then easily access the kitchen area as well as the bathroom and not have to worry about this corner which will eventually be the bed at night. And you can kind of see that with the tape lines. The tape lines are off a little bit, but you can kind of see what he's talking about where the bed pulled out, it would actually pull out to here and it would give you, you know, limiting right access here. in your kitchen and bathroom. So we've got quite a bit that we thought through in terms of trying to figure it out. My dad had a good idea. We're gonna actually mock it up with a piece of cardboard that we had from the countertop when it got delivered. Uh, so we're gonna mock up a piece and just take a look at it to make sure what we're doing is gonna work. And then pretty much, uh, we're going to just start cutting pieces, figuring it out, and moving forward. Okay, so we got our template cut right here. This gives you the shape of the backrest and the seat. Well, this will be how high the seat is, but what we need to do is we're gonna be building an exterior framing. So we're gonna be building our armrest, which will be a hollowed armrest that we might make storage later. Uh, and then our back part, which is our angle. And then where my hands are right now, where we're kneeling, this is where the actual slide mechanism and bed couch is gonna go and that's gonna get built inside of these pieces. So we wanna build the outside arms, the back plate, and then we'll build out the center. So what we need to do now is figure out what our armrest is gonna look like and how high that needs to be uh, and cut out another piece of cardboard for that. And then we have pretty much, um, not really templates, because I don't wanna use the cardboard as our template, um, but we have at least a concept you know, proven here, which means we can at least move forward and start building with wood.
side piece number one is kind of done and in. Now I don't think this is gonna be final screwed. We just kind of set it in place to get some measurements that we need for the further pieces. Uh, we're gonna to have to put a back cap on here to run behind the window so that when you look in, you don't just look at the back of the front side of the couch. It would just look really bad. So we gotta put a back piece here. Um, but now that this piece is actually screwed in and where it's gonna go, we can get our measurement for six feet because um, we're gonna make the actual couch part six feet or bed piece six feet. Um, and then the other one's gonna go over the wheel well. So uh, once we get these measurements, we can measure the wheel well, and then we have to cut it out of the other side so it will fit you know, over the wheel well. And then once we get those two pieces in, we kind of have our exterior frame done for this couch. And then what we have to do is build the internal pieces, which will be actually the slide part, you know, the mechanism part. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with this piece, you know, nice little armrest. So when you're sitting down and uh, yeah, I think uh, couch version 2.0 from Navi over there is gonna be, it's gonna be really nice. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Gotta get some measurements, get the other one done, and then we're on to the next part. Moment of truth. There you go. Something like that. What do you think? I think it's gonna look great. Feels like home. Feels like home, I like that. All right, so we got our front side, we got our back side, and uh, now we're just gonna separate them by six feet, and then that gives us the center part, but there's our armrests of the couch in the beginning of what it's gonna look like. Just got the casings in, so we got this one, this one, and then the entire back corner all framed out and cased in. So at this point now, we can actually start putting the couch in like I was saying before. It's a good feeling, mm -hmm. so we're excited to get this couch in and we're yeah. determined. We're determined to get it done. I mean, yeah, I wanna be able to lay in it. Well, you can officially see that we got these pieces uh, screwed in. So you can actually, I mean, you can literally see what the couch is gonna look like now. Uh, there's just obviously no middle, um, which we've been talking about. The pullout mechanism will be actually in here. But we've got our back plate, side pieces are in. Um, now we just gotta do our slanted back top cap. And then we can actually start doing the actual box that is the slide out. But I'm a lot happier with this one because now when you're outside, oh, you really can't see that on camera, but when you're outside the bus in person, um, it just looks like one clean piece of plywood here. That's something I actually forgot to do on uh, Navi when I put those couches in and you actually go outside the bus, you actually see the different joint lines um, of where the couch was built. It's not that big of a deal, but I mean, if you can do it, why not? You know, I mean, it doesn't take that much extra effort to just kind of uh, put that little bit in there and get it all kind of cleaned up. So I uh, got that back piece of wood in and uh, now we just got to finish out the inside of it and get the next part started. What do you want to do, the top cap or the front face? No, nah, I want to do the seat. He wants to start doing the seat. I want to see the seat. He wants to see this. I want to see the seat. We all want to see the seat. We can start doing the box. Yeah, let's do the box. Or do you think it's smarter to do the back? I think we're going to think about it for a second.
we got all of our support beams in, our centerpiece, uh, the face cap. So now it's really starting to look like a couch. Uh, the next thing on the list is going to be now actually starting doing the slats that are actually going to pull out. Um, as I said before, we're going to be doing two pieces. There's a three foot section here and a three foot section here. And that's uh, like my dad said, so that you can pull this one out and then you'll be able to stand here, pull this one out. But then that's the solution that I'm going for uh, so that when the bathroom needs to get accessed, this piece right here can slide in slightly and then it actually lets the door open. Um, so there's like little adjustments within how the bed is set up depending on how you're going to be using it Or should I say me? I'm going to be using it. I'm sorry You guys probably aren't going to be using it too much But either way the next thing on the list is going to be building out these slats and getting the front piece done And then we can actually see what's going to look like and give it, you know, just I can lay down on my bed just without a cushion I might just want to go get like a foam piece and just start sleeping in the bus once it's done But that's gonna be next on the list and we just got to cut out some pieces and get it going What do you think about? How it's going. I think it's looking good. I think it's looking great. I mean, yeah. it's going to be a very comfortable couch and a decent sized bed. Yeah. I mean, I think the bed, we just did the measurements. The bed's going to end up probably somewhere around 36 inches. It's a twin. Yeah. Which isn't a huge bed, but you know, it's not supposed to be massively huge. I mean, we do have a bathroom. We have an office, a couch, a bedroom. I mean, it's a short bus. We're doing pretty good here, I think, in terms of like, oh, you know. You're gonna have a dinette. Yeah. You're gonna have a full kitchen. We just don't have a California king. Nothing is screwed together, but what do you think? I oh, mean, it's gonna be sharp. Yeah, that's gonna look real nice. And it's very sturdy. I mean, we're using three quarter slat plywood birch, um, and I'm taking a risk here sitting on it because it might slide on me and I might fall on camera, but that's okay. It actually feels super sturdy. I'm not even concerned at all about these Boeing. Um, and like I said, we're using three quarter birch. The rest of the bus, um, I get this question a lot in the comments. Everything else pretty much is uh, half inch birch plywood. So we just upgraded a little bit for the strength, but I'm liking the way this is gonna look. And uh, now we gotta do some like fine tune cutting and measuring, but it's time to put this thing together. We just need the backrest. Yeah, yeah, and maybe cushions, but I'm yeah. still relaxing real nice. That All works. Right. Yep. Yeah. Ready? There we go. But you know what? I gotta get my blanket. We need a handle yet? <laughs> we definitely need a handle. Oh, well, that totally works. My blanket. All right, wait, wait, hold it right there. I want to explain a little bit of what we did. So now that we've got this up, we can actually explain and look at exactly how this is built. Um, so you saw that there were hinges on every other board. And then from there, those boards are screwed into this top slat right here. So those are the only connection points that are going on. So if we put it down, the boards that have the hinges are screwed into here and then screwed into that front slat that we were just pointing at. 
and that's what holds these together. And then the every other slat, if we lift it up again, oh, need a handle. Definitely need a handle. The other slats are screwed into this bottom one, and then this top piece right up here, which then allows this piece to actually is the slide. So when we put it down and you watch it, that back piece, which are these screws, if dad, you pull it out, those screws where my finger are, are going to pull out with it. And then if you pull it out all the way, we're gonna go inside the couch. So if you look on the inside, you can see that these two pieces meet right here, and then dad, if you can push it in, you'll see it separates. And that's actually what is, you know, actually controlling the stop, which tells it how far it can go out. But then if you slide it in, it will meet right about here and it's all good. And if you open it, then you're all good to go. I actually have no clue if that footage is gonna work, but hopefully that was a pretty okay explanation of what's going on here. Dad, I think we got one piece done. We got one one, piece one done. half done. We can only get a half night's sleep. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep in here just yet, but I will be pretty soon. So hopefully that was a pretty good, you know, little explanation of what's going on here on the first half. Uh, in the next video, we are going to be completing the couch out. So you're going to be able to see it again and actually see how we put the back plate on uh, and then see the entire couch pull out in one piece. But I just want to say thanks dad for coming out and helping. Uh, I know you drove all the way up here, stuck around for a few days and just were helping around. Yep. Um, but I really appreciate it. So thank you. But he's got to head out right now. Yep. And I gotta see you in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, see you. In a yeah, come on back. Yep. We like oh, him. Yep. Yeah, you should come on back. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, uh, you know we're gonna be getting back onto this thing in the next video. I just want to say thank you for everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you guys want to check out any more build videos, you can check them out over here. And just remember, if you're interested in more content on building buses, trailers, vans, or anything of that nature, uh, make sure you subscribe. But thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.